The green and gold up against their old foes in black, but this is no ordinary Anzac test. For a start, it's on horseback, then there's the mud. Oh, in that mud, it's it's tough. It's um, it's like old school sloggy polo cross. We're at the famed Morgan Park in Warwick for a polo cross spectacular. The annual Barristock Interstate Series and Shell Cup Carnival this year combined with the Adena Anzac Test Series between Australia and New Zealand. A tough enough contest in good conditions, but this weekend the weather was terrible. The rain just wouldn't go away and Morgan Park was a mud bath. It's just a shame about the weather, but you and I both know we can't order the weather. We've got to cop it as it comes. And cop it they did. Horses shin deep in mud, rucks formed like a rugby match as any loose ball became jammed in the earth. Uh, obviously not ideal conditions, but it made things interesting, I reckon. It did, mate, yeah, definitely. It brings everyone sort of um, to a pretty uh, level playing field. It definitely, I guess, slows the game down a bit, makes it a bit more tough. It's slow, it's gritty, it's, it's really, um, you've got to be determined to get that ball, have your head down and, and then be really smart when you've got it. Um, it doesn't allow for many mistakes. Polacross rackets were used like shovels. Those who managed to scoop the ball up quick enough were rewarded. Back comes Gurky, floated pass away over the top towards Anthony Wells. There's another pretty good pick up from the young man. All the time of the world, around the front he goes. And those bold enough to go for the bounce were rewarded as well. With more than 700 horses and 500 players in Warwick for the carnival, Morgan Park became a mini mud city. The travelling polo cross community came in colours of local clubs from across Australia for the Shell Cup Carnival. The Barristock Interstate Series had teams from Queensland, New South Wales, WA and Victoria, and even one from the Northern Territory. And of course, the Trans Tasman Colours for the first international polo cross in Australia since Warwick hosted the World Cup in 2019. With proof our Kiwi cousins are just like siblings. All right, so sisters playing for opposing countries. How does that? How does that work? Yeah. <laughs> We're both Kiwis, and we both moved over to Australia for a bit, and then Nadine went back to New Zealand. We both married Australia. Aussies. Yeah, we both married to Aussies. Anzac diggers in the trenches of Morgan Park. Just had to dig in deep. Just, you just had to keep fighting. Although yeah. it may, well, I thought both of us, it, it actually is better for our game. For, for me it was, it made me quite hungry and determined. The show went on as long as possible, but after two days, conditions underfoot and under hoof became too unsafe. I left the complex here at half past 12 last night. It was still raining when I left here. And as I drove out the gate, I thought well, we won't be playing here tomorrow. So the day three finals were a washout. And on Sunday, it was straight to the presentation. The Barristock Interstate winners decided on score countbacks. And when the scores were even, a good old fashioned coin toss. Congratulations all round for the winning teams and top players. It's a big honour, um, especially being at the, at the um, home carnival uh, here in Warwick and um, also just to, just to play in that team um, and to win that prestige award is, is, is awesome. Congratulations too for the top horses, the toughest competitors all weekend. What goes into a good polo cross horse? What were you looking for this weekend? Well, what I was looking for was um, a horse that was very pliable, you know, soft, um, responsive, got to have speed in this game. Um, yeah, and turn on a sixpence. Do you think the winning horses might have been different if the weather conditions were different? Oh, definitely. Um, they had to play a different game of polo cross with such wet fields, and uh, that's what we look for too, that tougher horse that um, could handle these heavy conditions um, because, yeah, they've got to be terribly fit to work and play on that sort of surface. The Kiwis go back across the ditch, defeated but not deflated. They'll be back later this year. The team that we brought was a young young team, and I think they gave 110 right the way through. Basically, we had uh, six under-21s in this op open side, which is fairly unheard of. You know, that, that's why we said we brought a young team. But we probably couldn't have got a better prep 
for that under 21s test match than actually coming here and playing in the open. Time now for Morgan Park to recover. Groundsman Ross is obviously going to be pretty busy trying to get these get these decks back to um get to good condition now. Oh yeah, he will. But we 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 groom these fields to play parlour cross on them. Somebody said to me on 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 Friday morning before we started, it's a shame to be playing parlour cross here. I said it's a shame not to be. Follow the Country Caller online. Harry Clark, founder and editor.